morning y'all it's monday morning getting ready for my f3 walk i'll tell you what i was just thinking i never thought of myself as a 5k person um over the weekend we did our sixth one in a row and uh trying to do one a month we did two in april um but my blood work and my uh, heart echogram have shown the difference uh, since I started doing this. Just getting out and walking. Uh, three times a week, 45 minutes to an hour each time. They've shown the difference. And I jogged a bit in this last one. And... Saturday was, I recorded my personal best. So then you might ask yourself, well, Barry, what, what do you do? You know, you just get up and walk? And I, yeah. But with this group of guys, it's, uh, it's been something, something great. Uh, and what I've noticed in this change in the last, uh, since December, we did one in December and then we just set out to do one a month for the whole year, 2024. Um, a couple friends of ours have done them with us and you know, they're seeing improvements in, in their health. So, you know, it's, it's great to get out and cheers to those who are doing it with us. You guys are awesome, and, uh, you know, I thank you. All right, so we're back from the walk, uh, breakfast. Great group of guys, but I won't get into that. Um, what I do want to get into is, so yesterday was our Sunday Live, and I tried to make a hot water cornbread. First time I'd ever done it, and... I didn't follow the recipe. I didn't even write it down. That's how I thought I knew I had it right. Um, and it came out good, but it was just something was off. So I looked back up the, the video of Phil Robertson from Duck Dynasty. Um, his video. And that's what I got. So I actually wrote it down. So we're going to follow the instructions and we're going to try again. So I have my water. Uh, coming up to a boil and I have the bacon grease already heating up and it actually went over temp so I'm cutting heat down to try to get it back together let's mix it All right, up so it says two cups of yellow cornmeal so let's get this out and ready he actually says two to two and a half so if we go a little bit over it's okay but we're going to try for two Okay, now he says a half cup of flour, half cup of all-purpose flour. Now he calls for a little bit of sugar, it was a teaspoon of sugar, so we'll sprinkle a little bit of that in there, a quarter teaspoon of salt. So that's good. Then he says to mix. Okay, so now he says to add boiling water. But he doesn't say how much because you gotta go by the mix. So you pour some in and you mix and then you add more and you want it to be a big dough ball his instructions say three quarters of a two quart sauce pot to bring to boil so I just did the whole teapot
the way Mr. Phil did it was he got him a little glob. And he just dropped them down in there. So let's roll these around and see what they look like. And Mr. Phil said you get them as dark as you want. Let's see here. Pull them off here. Set them over here on this uh, plate. See how we did. All right, let's get the next batch in. So I don't know what, uh, I guess we'll just top this with a little bit more salt. There we go. Let's go try them out. Hot water cornbread, take two. So we'll see. They're still steamy. See the steam? Mmm. way better way better man and that salt that, that finishing salt gave it a nice little uh savory mm. way better way better you know it pays it, it helps if you pay attention to the to the recipe and you have all the ingredients even if you don't add in the right amount at least you have them all so yesterday when i did it i was missing the sugar and the I didn't stir in the salt and I didn't have the water hot enough. I didn't have the oil. It was just a mess. But it was a learning thing. So, we tried it out. We made it again. It was a whole lot better. Uh, they said to dip it in some maple syrup or what I found yesterday was different hot sauces. Just a little bit of hot sauce. Boom. Nailed it. So, mmm. So much better. All right, y'all want to try? Sit, sit. Leave it, leave it, leave it. Sit, Rex. Sit, Rex. Sit, sit. No, sit. Sit. Sit down, Bella. Go. All right, so that's all I got today. Feeling pretty blessed that I'm able to do the things that I'm doing. And, you know, even on your worst days, there's somebody out there that's having a worse day and are dreaming of the of what your bad days look like. So with this, uh, we're six days into Melanoma Awareness Month. Sun shirts are a must. Uh, you know, even when it's cloudy and, and overcast, you can still get sunburnt. So um, cheers. Y'all have a great week. We'll talk to you on the next one. Rock on!